Hi my fellow queens, welcome back to my channel and for everybody who is new, I'm Leora and I'm so glad you found me. So today we are going to do a first impression of this wonderful palette, this wonderful palette that I just got a little while back and it looks like this. It's from Plush Tribe and it's the Paulina palette. And I don't know if you saw the video that I made when Paulina announced that she's going to have a palette. I'm going to link it in the cards. I was so happy, so, 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 so happy for her that she got to do this, that she had this opportunity and her whole approach, her whole mindset and the, the I don't know, I was so, so genuinely, genuinely happy for her. So now I have it. <laughs> Finally, it took some time to get here, but now I have it and today is the first, 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 first day that I'm going to use it and we're going to create a look. So obviously you have seen how the look turns out on the thumbnail, but I have no idea what's going to happen. I have a general plan, let me just tell you. So the general plan is, let me just move this around so <laughs> because I'm so zoomed in and it's very tight here. Okay, so what I'm planning to do is I will use almost all of the shades. I think besides this one and this one, I think these I'll leave for a different look. But today I want to use this and this in the crease. And then I want to use these two on the lid and blending it out towards the outer V with the dark shade, the dark green Sige. And then on the lower lash line, I want to like rim the lower lash line with aubergine and blend it out with Paulina. Paulina. Something like this. <laughs> Hard for me to say it right, but I think it's Paulina. <laughs> Paulina, if you see this, <laughs> feel free to correct me. Okay, so this is what we're going to do. This palette looks awesome. So let's, let's dig in, should we? <laughs> First, I'm going to take the shade Humble and put it in the outer side of my crease and then blend it into Friends, which is this light green. Now that I've placed the first shade down, I will go in with this shade, Friends, and place it towards the inside. And I'm going to take a bit of a smaller, stiffer brush in order to be a little bit more precise. Well, <laughs> the color payoff is quite, quite amazing. Now I'm blending out the edges. I moved my mirror a little bit. I think that is a better angle for you to see what I'm doing. Okay, I'm packing on the light green a little bit more. And I keep blending out the edges. And then I take a big, big, big fluffy brush like this dabbing it into the green and the light, into the green, both of them are greens, okay, into the light green and I'm just dabbing it over the edge where, where both of the greens meet. I always feel like this is such a good way of blending. Okay, you know what, what we're going to do is I'm going to actually try to deepen up this, this outer green a little bit more just towards the crease, not the, the upper part, but just towards the crease, which I'm also going to do with the real, real fluffy brush. And then I'm just swiping off the, the product from that same brush and just blend the edges again. Next I want to apply the uh, shimmers on, on my eyelid. So I'm starting with this beautiful shade here which is called Fingerling and I'm going to use it with spray. I have not used it without spray yet so I don't know, it's just that I always apply them with spray so that's what I'm going to do. Spraying my brush and there we go. This is so pretty. 
the plan is to have this one, the thingaling shade, about like one third of my eyelid, and then to have we show you this one, Salma, the at the uh, middle part, and then what did we say? Blended out with Sigge, which is I think it's her dog. <laughs> wow, this shade applied like wow. Okay, so let's see how the, the shade Salma applies. Doing the same thing, spraying my brush. Okay, now that I've put down the dark purple, I will go in with a fluffier brush, but small, and just drag that um, lighter purple a little bit over the edge in order to blend the two of them. And now we're going in with the dark shade Sige and blending it out. And then we shall see what we think. <laughs> The color payoff of this shade is insanity. That's amazing. Now to blend out the edges here, I will go in back, back in with this first shade that we put down, the shade Humble, and just again dab it over the edge to blend out the shade Sticky. I'm going in with the Salma shade again and just taking a little bit on my brush and just dragging it over the edge here between the dark purple and the green to have a more smooth transition. Next I'm taking a pencil brush and I'm using this shade here, Aubergine, and I'm applying it under my waterline. Isn't it magical? <laughs> okay, uh, I am using Paulina now, Paul, Paulina, and <laughs> blend the shade Aubergine out towards the bottom, and let me see, then, then we'll see what we have. On my waterline, I actually want to use two different greens, and this is a darker green it's from Jade and it's called it's called it's called one second green pearl and this one is from Pupa and it has no name it's just number 59 so I'm going to use the darker one on the outer edge and then on the outer corner and then the lighter one in the inner corner I think this already now looks seriously awesome. I know sometimes it's misleading because as long as you don't have eyeliner and mascara on, it's the, the boom is missing, but just trust me, it's gonna be good. <laughs> For an inner corner highlight, I will actually use the Maybelline Urban Light palette, and I want to mix, oh no, I just dipped my fingers in the shades. Okay, I want to mix this purple here and then, I don't know if you can see it, there are two uh, toppers here, two highlighter toppers. And I want to mix it with the warmer one. There's a colder one and the warmer one. And I'm going to mix these two. First I put down this one and then I top it with this one. So my girls, this is how it looks for now. I'm going to go off camera and I'm going to apply eyeliner, mascara and falsies. And then I'm going to come back and I will tell you what I think about the palette. Okay, my ladies, welcome back to the finished look. This is how it turned out and I'm loving it. I'm loving it so much. This is colorful. <laughs> okay, so what do I think about the palette? Um, let's see. Okay, so we use basically all of the shades besides this one and this one and the mattes were very very good especially those two this one needed some building up i felt but these ones were very very colorful and and pigmented on impact like immediately 
then uh, these shimmers this one was absolutely stunning immediately this one I had to build up as like on the first eye I had to build it up quite a bit on the second eye it was powerful at the like immediately so I don't know maybe there was just like um, something on top of the shade or something that had to like be scratched off first but uh, this this was very very nice then on the second eye too and on the first eye as I said I had to build it up a little bit what else did we do we used this one that was fine this one was fine this has some micro glitter in it and I love them I love them I love the look and <laughs> I love it. <laughs> anyway, I'm so glad for, for Paulina that she got to do this, that she got to have a palette. Wait, let me zoom you out a little bit so you can see. Oh, is that better? That's okay, right? So I'm so glad for Paulina that she got to have a palette and one day, God willing, <laughs> I will have one too, God willing. So, and thank you for, for uh, to Blush Tribe who who collaborated with a small creator that's amazing i love that they should always have success <laughs> here's my blessing okay so this is how it looks and um this is how i'm gonna go through the day today <laughs> and uh, i love it so what else did i do i used the cubanita highlighter which i always apply after i'm done with my eyes uh, from Essence and this one <laughs> on my lips is also from Essence. It's a lip gloss, a wet lip gloss and it's called Indie Romance and that is basically the only reason why I bought it because I love the name. It's, it's lovely, you know, it's very very understatement kind of a thing and with a look like this, with an eye look like this, I think that's just lovely. Okay, uh, the joke of the day are the lashes. The lashes are the natural lashes from Ardell, Lacey's Black. Uh, there is nothing natural about those lashes. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> but I love them, so what can I do? So, Ardell Natural, amazing. Good. We're done. What are you thinking? If you like the look, then please let me know. And if you have the palette, then let me know too. And t let me know what your experiences are and what your favorite shades are. Or maybe if you want to give me some shades that you want me to create a look with, then feel free to do so. Of course, there will be different looks with this one. I mean, this is not just a one look palette, right? But as a first impression, this was awesome. I loved it. I loved every single aspect of it. and very very happy with it looking forward to working more with this palette and congratulations again to Paulina that Paulina that uh, she she created this wonderful palette with these amazing shades I hope you enjoyed my first impression and makeup look kind of a video I hope you're coming back next time for my next video which will be undoubtedly very soon and if you're new here then please feel free to subscribe I'm happy to see all of you here next time and up until then don't forget to sparkle, hugs and kisses. Bye.